A woman is an adult human female. A man is an adult human male. These are scientific biological facts that cannot change. However, there are men who think that they are women or that they can become women. They are wrong. You cannot change sex. But once they have decided that they are women, these men demand that everyone agrees with them, agrees that they are women. This film presents 71 male criminals, men, from the United Kingdom who insist that they are women. They are not women. These crimes were not committed by women, but they are reported in the media as crimes committed by women. The pronouns she and her are used to refer to these men. In court, they are also referred to as she and her. Female names are used for them, but these are lies. These are men, not women. Some of these men have had their crimes officially recorded as having been committed by a woman. Some have been sent to a women's prison to serve their sentences amongst female prisoners who are given no choice in this. They are not women, they are men. These are not our crimes. 2019. Justin Blundell or Charlotte Blundell, as he would have himself known. This man was convicted of attempted criminal damage of a police vehicle, failing to surrender, and two counts of harassment after breaching a restraining order. The trigger for his violent outburst was when police officers misgendered him, calling him Justin and using the pronouns he and him. Previously, Blundell had been jailed after he covered a former boyfriend in bleach, tried to set him on fire and stabbed him eight times with a screwdriver. Media reports called Blundell Charlotte and used the pronouns she and her to refer to him. Anthony Prince or Tony Prince this man was convicted of possession of nearly 1,200 indecent images of children, including over 100 Category A images, which show children being raped. Court proceedings referred to this man using she and her. Media reports described him as a woman, used the name Tony and female pronouns to refer to him. Mark Addis or Melissa Addis. This man spent six months on remand in 2014 after sending threats to his former partner that he would kill her. After deciding that he was a woman and calling himself Melissa, he was given access to a female only refuge run by St Mungo's. Christopher Wharton, who prefers to call himself Zoe Lines. This man was convicted of breaching a sexual harm prevention order. He has a previous conviction for raping a girl. Court proceedings referred to him using female pronouns, as did media reports, which also referred to him using the name Zoe Lines. Richard Grattage, who prefers to be called Vicky Green. This man was convicted of communicating indecently and intending to have sex with an underage girl. He was initially remanded in a women's prison, Cornton Vale, before being transferred to a male prison. Princess Purple Watkins. This man was convicted of harassment against his ex-wife, which began when she asked for a divorce. Media reports refer to him using female pronouns, she and her. Carol Lee. This man was convicted of possession of an offensive weapon and of using threatening, abusive or insulting words or behaviour against a teenage woman. He was referred to as a woman by both local police and the media. Peyton Rose Monteur. This man was charged with an offence under the Communications Act when he urged people on social media to throat punch members of the group For Women Scotland. 
media reports used female pronouns to refer to this man. These are not our crimes. Two thousand and eighteen. Liam Suleiman, who prefers to be called Lucy Edwards. This man was remanded in custody to await trial for the attempted murder of a member of staff at Ashworth High Security Psychiatric Hospital. Media reports used she and her to refer to this man. Keith Thompson, who prefers to be called Kathleen Carpenter. This man was convicted of indecently assaulting a boy over 20 years previously. Media reports used she and her to refer to this male criminal and called him Kathleen. Ben Laws, who is also known as Ben Eckert and prefers to be called Lana Laws. This male convicted sex offender was convicted of breaching a sexual offences prevention order when he did not notify police of an online relationship with a female child. Media reports referred to this man using she and her. Gary Dean Marie, who likes to be called Marie Dean. This violent male sexual offender was convicted of voyeurism, possession and production of indecent photographs of children, and aggravated burglary, where he wore and masturbated into underwear belonging to the woman whose house he had broken into. In 2018, this man went on a hunger strike in protest at being in a male prison. Media reports referred to him using she and her. Gary Cooper, who refers to himself as Carrie Cooper or Caris Cooper, this man was convicted in 2012 of sexual offences against a child. Whilst serving his sentence, another child reported sexual offending against her by Cooper when she was seven years old. In 2018, he was convicted of sexual offences against her. When Hertfordshire Constabulary first reported this crime, they referred to Cooper as a woman, used she and her to refer to him and called him by the female name Carrie. Duncan Smart, who calls himself Jacinta Brooks. This man was convicted of three counts of inciting a child to engage in sexual activity and three counts of possessing indecent images. Media reports referred to this man as Jacinta and used she and her. These are not our crimes. Katie Dolotovsky. This man was convicted of sexually assaulting a 10-year-old girl in the female toilets in a supermarket. He was also convicted of filming a 12-year-old girl in female toilets on a separate occasion. In 2019, it was reported that this man was housed in a hostel for vulnerable female offenders. Media reports use the name Katie and the pronouns she and her to refer to this man. Brandon Walker, who variously goes by the names Stephen Walker, James Walker, Jamie Thornton and his preference, Chloe Walker. This man was convicted of sexual offences against a child in 2016. In 2018, he was convicted of breaching a sexual harm prevention order and was sent to prison. Shortly before release, he pleaded guilty to a second breach by contacting a female victim on Facebook using a pseudonym. During court proceedings, the judge instructed the prosecutor to use she and her to refer to Walker. David Thompson, also known as Stephen Terence Wood, and his preferred name, Karen White. In 2018, this violent and dangerous man was convicted of two rapes committed in 2016. The rape of a pregnant woman in 2003 and the stabbing of an elderly male neighbour. Previous convictions include gross indecency with a child. He was held on remand in a women's prison where he sexually assaulted four female prisoners.
Sean Pudwell, who goes by the names Michelle Lewin or Michelle Saunders. In 2007, this man was convicted of serious sexual offences against children and was jailed indefinitely for public protection. In 2018, he was transferred to the women's section of HMP Peterborough. Media reports of this transfer refer to him as she and her. Paris Valletta Bragazzi. In 2017, this man was convicted of an unlawful act on a railway with intent to endanger a person. He has a long record of attacks on public transport. Following further offences, he was jailed in 2018. Media reports referred to him as a woman and used she and her to describe him. These are not our crimes. Chantelle Simmons. This man was convicted of burglary, theft and fraud. Media reports referred to this man using she and her. Tannis Wolf who prefers to be called Tara Wolf. This man was convicted of assault by beating against a 60-year-old woman. In court, the victim was instructed by the judge to use female pronouns to refer to Wood. News reports also used she and her. Callum Hughes. This man was convicted of two counts of assault against his parents and of criminal damage. News reports referred to him as a woman and used female pronouns she and her. During court proceedings, female pronouns were used to refer to Hughes. Rachel Bailey. This man was convicted of assaulting police officers. Media reports used she and her to refer to him. Stephen Mottershead, who prefers to be called Stephanie. This man was convicted of unlawful wounding when he stabbed a neighbour following an argument. He was sent to serve his sentence in a women's prison. Media reports used she and her to refer to him. Tyler Joe Bryan. This man was convicted of violent assault when a 19-year-old man was repeatedly kicked and stamped on in an attack at Leicester Square tube station in London. At the time of the attack, media coverage referred to the attack as being carried out by a gang of women. Two other men were also convicted of the same offence. Daniel Lewis, who prefers to be called Armani Lewis, and Michael Doherty, who goes by the name Tamsin Lush. These are not our crimes. Lee Baker, who calls himself Tiffany Aching. This man was convicted of stalking with subsequent convictions for harassment, breaching a restraining order and a further episode of stalking. When he failed to attend court, the police referred to him as a missing woman and news reports referred to him as a woman dressed as a man. Sarah Priest. This man was charged with sending threats with the intent of causing distress but was deemed mentally unfit to plead. When he was arrested, Kent police referred to him as a woman. Jasmine Hill. This man was convicted of inciting a child to perform sexual acts, breaching a sexual harm prevention order and possessing indecent images of a child. News headlines refer to these crimes as having been committed by a woman and used female pronouns she and her throughout. David Woolridge, who prefers to be called Sky Woolridge. This man was convicted of possession of crack and cocaine. Headlines referred to him as a woman. Andre Curlew, who likes to be called Alara Aziz. This man was convicted of burglary and fraud. He was referred to in the press using female pronouns. He actually received an apology from the trial judge when he objected to being referred to using the male pronouns he and him. These are not our crimes. 
2017. Kyle Lockwood or Kaylee Louise Woods. This man was jailed for life for the torture and brutal murder of his 20-year-old flatmate Bethany Hill. Court documentation used female pronouns to refer to him. The murder was committed with an accomplice, his boyfriend Jack Williams. BBC coverage referred to Lockwood as Jack Williams' girlfriend. Paul Long, who prefers to be called Pauline. This man was convicted of eight sexual offences against two children under 10. After sentencing, DC John Uden gave this statement. Long terrorised these children for her own sexual gratification. She was a bully and a monster to them, and it's good that she's now behind bars where she can't cause any further harm. Media reports referred to Long as a woman, used the name Pauline and used female pronouns. Dawn Love. This man was convicted of the sexual assault of a child. He committed this offence while serving a suspended sentence for the possession of extreme bestiality pornography. Media reports of the pornography charge referred to him as a housewife and used female pronouns. During court proceedings for the sexual assault charge, female pronouns were used to refer to him. Kira Leverton. This man was convicted of multiple sexual offences against children and possession of images depicting child sexual abuse. Female pronouns were used throughout court proceedings and he was referred to as a woman in media reports. Andy Jones, who prefers to be called Wendy. This man was convicted of possession of extreme bestiality pornography. Media coverage referred to Jones as a woman and used female pronouns. These are not our crimes. Louise Emma Croft. This man was convicted of the sexual assault against a male work colleague. Media reports and court proceedings, including the victim's own testimony, referred to this man using female pronouns. Gavin Brannan, who prefers to be called Katie. This man was charged with two counts of rape perpetrated against a man. However, he was acquitted after the prosecution could offer no evidence when the victim would not testify in court. Media reported the incident as a woman charged with raping a man. Martin Ponting, who now calls himself Jessica Winfield. This man had been convicted of raping two girls in 1995 and had been sentenced to life imprisonment. Whilst serving his sentence, he declared that he was a woman and began medical treatment. In March 2017, he was moved to HMP Bronzefield, a women's prison. There, he sexually threatened female prisoners and in September 2017, he was segregated from the rest of the prison population, whilst still being housed in the female prison. Media reports of the transfer to the women's prison use female pronouns to refer to him. Peter Lang, also known as Paris Green. This man was jailed in 2013 for the torture and murder of Robert Shankland. He was initially sent to a women's prison, HMP Cornton Vale. There, he sexually harassed and sexually assaulted female prisoners. He remained in a female prison until early 2017 when he was transferred to a male section of HMP Edinburgh. In 2018, the decision was made to provide him with quote-unquote sex reassignment surgery. News reports of this decision refer to him using female pronouns. Andrew Burns, who is variously known as Tiffany Scott, Obi-Wan Kenobi and Mighty Almighty. 
This man is a serial violent offender with a string of convictions for violence against women, assault, stalking and criminal damage. In 2016, he changed his name to Tiffany Scott and demanded that only female prison officers search him. Female prison officers were ordered to perform intimate body searches on him. Three refused. Annabelle Ford. This man was convicted of grievous bodily harm and of producing cannabis. He was sent to a women's prison, HMP New Hall. Media reports referred to him as a woman and used female pronouns. These are not our crimes. Mark Walker, or Marcia, as he likes to call himself. In 2003, this man was convicted of raping two girls under the age of 16. One was only four years old. In 2012, he was convicted of making and distributing indecent photographs of children. On release, he made a series of bomb threats against prison staff and Theresa May. Media reports used female pronouns and referred to him as Marcia. Chantel Taylor. This man was convicted of threatening and abusive behaviour. He served his sentence at the women's prison HMP Cornton Vale. Media reports used female pronouns to refer to him. Francesca Camiccia. This man was convicted of using threatening behaviour towards airport security staff at Heathrow. Court proceedings, including the victim's testimony, used female pronouns to refer to him, as did media reports. Donna Bowdler, or Little Miss Peppermint. This man was convicted of publishing written material which is threatening, abusive or insulting, with intent to stir up racial and religious hatred. Media reports referred to Bowdler as a woman and used female pronouns. Chelsea Harwood. This man was convicted of three benefit fraud offences. When he failed to attend community service, he was jailed in a women's prison, HMP style. Media reports referred to him as a girl and used female pronouns. These are not our crimes. Two thousand and sixteen. Christopher Derbyshire, who is also known as Claire Derbyshire. This man was sentenced to life imprisonment for the murder of his sixty seven year old father. Previous offences include criminal damage for breaking into the home of his former boss and masturbating on her underwear. News reports at that time referred to him as a woman and used female pronouns. Sentencing details for the murder indicate that this murder has been recorded in the female crime statistics as having been committed by a woman. This distorts the true female murder rate for 2016 and falsely elevates it by around 5%. Lauren Jeska. This man is a fell runner who had been competing in women's races. He was sentenced to 18 years for the attempted murder of Ralph Nibbs, a UK athletics official. The attack left Mr Nibbs permanently disabled. Jessica committed actual bodily harm against two other officials who tried to intervene. The attack occurred after Jessica's eligibility to compete in female races was questioned and his previous wins in female races between 2010 and 2012 were declared null and void. He is serving his sentence in HMP Boston Hall, a women's closed category prison. Media reports referred to Jessica as a woman using female pronouns. Sentencing details indicate that this attempted murder is recorded in the female crime statistics as having been committed by a woman. This distorts the true female attempted murder rate for 2016 and falsely elevates it by around 20%.
but these are not our crimes. Jonathan Swift or Jenny Swift. This man was remanded into custody, charged with attempted murder and criminal damage. He was found dead in his cell at HMP Doncaster, a men's category B prison. Media reports refer to him using female pronouns. David Ayrton, or Davina Ayrton as he likes to be called. This man was jailed for the rape of a 15 year old girl. Previous convictions include arson and possession of indecent images of children as young as three. Media reports of the rape conviction used female pronouns. Reports of the 2014 conviction for possession of indecent images of children refer to him as a woman. Craig Hoxwell or Lisa Hoxwell. This man was convicted of two rapes of children and seven indecent assaults. He went on the run and did not attend court for sentencing. The case featured on the TV programme BBC Crime Watch as crimes committed by both a man and a woman. News reports referred to Hoxwell as a woman who may be dressed as a man. Later, the Daily Telegraph published an article, The Truth About Female Sex Offenders. They used Hoxwell as an example and printed his photograph. Gareth Owen or Gina Owen. This man was convicted of two counts of causing or inciting a child to engage in sexual activity. The judge sentenced him to a two-year conditional discharge. The reason for this non-custodial sentence was that courses designed to treat sex offenders were only available to men. The implication being that Owen was ineligible because he is a woman. Media reports referred to the crime as having been committed by a woman and used female pronouns. Jorven Seren. This man was convicted of indecently assaulting a child and of possessing 460 images of child sexual abuse. Seren was referred to in court proceedings using female pronouns. Media reports did the same. Seren, not content with insisting that he is a woman, claims to be a five-year-old girl. Mark Turton, who is also called Christopher Lewis, and his preferred name, Kristin Lucas. This man was convicted of breaching a sexual offences protection order. He was referred to in court proceedings using female pronouns. Media reports did the same. Previously, he had been convicted of two counts of rape of a female child. These are not our crimes. Ross, Florida, who prefers to be called Nicola. This man was convicted of breaching the terms of a sexual offences protection order. He has previous convictions for three counts of rape of children, four indecent assaults on children, gross indecency with a child, and two counts of taking indecent photographs of children. In December 2017, a man was convicted of assault when he intervened when Florida attempted to speak to his daughter. During these court proceedings, Florida was referred to as Miss Florida. Alice Smith. This man was convicted of possessing over 1,200 indecent images of children, including 200 Category A images, the most serious, and of possessing extreme pornography. This man was referred to in court and in media reports as a woman. The judge specifically noted that it was rare for women to commit this kind of crime, yet found it inexplicable that there were no internet sex offenders treatment programs for women. Melody Melstrom. This man was convicted of seven charges of possessing indecent images of children. He admitted to possessing nearly 150 videos and images. Media reports referred to the crimes as having been committed by a woman and used female pronouns. Christopher Noble who likes to call himself Crystal Knight. 
This man was convicted of possessing over 4,000 images and videos of child sexual abuse. During his prison sentence, he declared that he was a woman and changed his name to Crystal Knight. Media reports of this used female pronouns. Daniel Reeves, who calls himself Ella Davis. This man was convicted of possession of images of child sexual abuse. Media reports referred to him as Ella Davis and used female pronouns. Angel Gomez. Together with his civil partner, this man was convicted of controlling prostitution for gain and money laundering. Court proceedings referred to him as Ms. Gomez. Media reports used female pronouns. Matthew Kearney, who goes by the name Natalie. This man was convicted of common assault and of breaching a restraining order. Previous convictions include assault and multiple court order breaches. He served his sentence at a women's closed category prison, HMP style. The justification for this was that he would be bullied in a male prison. Media reports called him Natalie and used female pronouns. Amy Rice. This man was convicted of arson. During court proceedings, he was referred to using female pronouns, including by a police officer giving evidence. Previously, he had been given an antisocial behaviour order and banned from a supermarket after repeatedly harassing female staff. Katrina Hart. This man was convicted of possessing a disguised firearm and possession of a CS gas canister. During court proceedings, he was referred to as she and her. Media reports referred to him as Katrina and also used female pronouns. Mike Barrymore, who goes by the name Amanda. This man was convicted of benefit fraud. Media reports used female pronouns and the name Amanda to refer to him. These are not our crimes. 2015. Helen Doe. This man was acquitted of the attempted murder of his brother after a jury accepted the defence of non-insane automatism, whereby a person is not conscious of their actions due to an external factor such as medication. Media reports referred to him by the name Helen Doe and used female pronouns. Albert Edmead, who calls himself Anne. This man appeared in court accused of one count of indecent assault, indecency with a child and three counts of buggery. Media reports referred to him using the name Anne and using female pronouns she and her. Raymond Aaron David, who calls himself Tara Hudson. This man was convicted of assault after headbutting the manager of a bar, leaving the victim requiring dental surgery. Initially, he was sent to HMP Bristol, a male prison. After a campaign to see him move to a women's prison, which was supported by local MP Ben Howlett and the then leader of the Liberal Democrats, Tim Farron, he was moved to HMP Eastwood Park, a women's prison. Media reports refer to him as Tara Hudson and using female pronouns. Stephen Edwards, who calls himself Laura Hudson. This man was convicted of attempted robbery. Previous convictions include arson. Court proceedings refer to him using female pronouns. Later reports stated that he had been given a place in a women's hostel. Reese Robert Richard Thompson, who called himself Vicky. This man was convicted of assault and theft against a teenage girl and her mother. Following failure to attend court, he was remanded into custody in a male prison. He was later found unresponsive in his cell and died shortly thereafter. The independent investigation into his death by the prisons and probation ombudsman refers to him as Ms. Vicky Thompson and uses female pronouns. Media coverage of his death reported similarly. Reports of the assault and theft refer to the crime as having been committed by a woman. 
Susan Bond. This man was convicted of possessing an imitation firearm in a public place and of criminal damage. Court proceedings referred to him as Susan Bond and used female pronouns, as did media reports. Michael Earnshaw, who calls himself Michaela James. This man was convicted of the harassment of his ex-wife. News reports refer to him as Miss James and use female pronouns. All these crimes that include murder, attempted murder, rape and the sexual abuse of children, all were committed by men. These are not our crimes. To say that these criminals are women is a lie. To say that these crimes were committed by women is a lie. To call these men she or her is a lie. To send these men to serve their sentences in women's prisons amongst female prisoners is worse than a lie. It endangers the vulnerable women housed there, women who have no choice. These are not our crimes. They are not women. They are men.